welcome to my first ever YouTube video. I'm so excited to start filming some content for all of you, seeing as you all requested for me to start a YouTube channel. I've already fucked up. So today I'm going to do a Q&A um, slash get to know me. For my first YouTube video, I feel like just thought it makes sense. So let's get into it. I'm going to answer some questions that you guys asked me on my Instagram. If you see me keep looking away, it's just because I'm looking at the questions on my laptop. So before I ask these questions, I feel like I should just introduce myself. My name's Emily. I live up in the far north coast of New South Wales. I'm currently 20 years old and I'm expecting a baby in nine weeks. So it's very exciting. Um, yeah, I guess we just better get to the questions. First question, which is really, really random, but whatever. <clears throat> Do you want a husband? <laughs> um, I do. I don't even know how to answer this question. I do eventually want to get married. But at the moment, I'm not obviously ready for that. I'm currently single. I mean, every girl dreams of a, you know, beautiful big wedding and a ring on her finger. So I definitely do want to get married one day. Probably not for a very long time because I'm waiting to find my soulmate. Second question, where did the name Ocean come from? So for those of you who have no idea, uh, my son's name is Ocean. And I announced his name the other day in my baby shower. He just, he's currently kicking the shit out of me, so he's so annoying, but I love him. All right, so basically from the start of my pregnancy, from like two or three weeks after I found out I was pregnant, I basically decided on the name. Well, I pretty much had the name picked out before I fell pregnant. I heard of a boy named Ocean. I don't know of him, but I, my sister said that she knows a guy named Ocean a few years ago. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is the cutest name. Like that is the most beautiful name. I love the ocean so much. Like I'm so connected to the sea. I just, I'm obsessed. I thought Ocean is the most gorgeous name for a little boy. So I decided to name him that. I guess the meaning is just because of how close I am to the ocean and how much of a beautiful place it is. I just feel like it's just the ocean is my favorite place. It is the most beautiful place. Who would not want to be named after such a beautiful place? But yeah, that's where I got it from. A boy that my sister knows. <laughs> What were your honest thoughts? Or what were your honest first thoughts about being pregnant? Okay, so when I found out I was pregnant, I mean, obviously I was shook because I was not expecting it. Um, we weren't planning to have a baby, but I like low key really wanted to have a baby. When my partner and or my ex-partner and I, cause we were together at the time, obviously. Um, when I found out, I was like all by myself in my house. I was when I was living on my own. And um, so, yeah, when I found out, I was so shook. I, I don't, I don't even know. I didn't even know what to think. I just sort of like broke down, had like a panic attack and I was like, oh my gosh, this can't be actually real. It sort of sunk in and I was like, I feel like I'm ready for this. Yeah, the day that I found out, I knew that I wanted, I was ready to be a mum. So I was like, yep, I'm doing this. I'm so excited. But I think just the initial first reaction with every person is they're just shook. But yeah, I was just so excited and I'm still so excited and blessed have you always wanted to be a young mum no i haven't actually always thought that i was going to have kids at i just thought that i was gonna have kids when i was like late 20s early 30s closer to like the early 30s 
I just felt like I wanted to live my life on my own first and I couldn't see myself having kids young. Yeah, now that I'm pregnant, I'm so happy because I feel like I get to grow up with my son and his grandparents are going to be around for longer and he's going to be able to spend more time with them as well as me. And I just can't wait to like grow up with him, if that makes sense. What is your most embarrassing moment? Okay. <clears throat> I actually don't know. I'm trying to think. I haven't had a like embarrassing moment in a while. This isn't that embarrassing, but this is like the last sort of awkward embarrassing moment that I had. The other day I was with my friend Jenna. Shout out to you Jenna, I love you. And she's just had a baby and I was looking after him and I was like feeding him in public and some lady was like, oh, he loves his mummy so much. And I was like, mind you, I'm really huge. Like I look like I sh a whale. <laughs> I look like I should be having my baby like any day now, even though I'm only 31 weeks. Um, and I was sort of like, oh, mm, I'm not his mum. It was just, it was actually really awkward, but I mean, it wasn't embarrassing. It was just really awkward. <laughs> I can't even think of embarrassing, my most embarrassing moment, but that's like the latest, like the most recent awkward slash embarrassing moment that I had. It was just really awkward I didn't know what to say because she was like oh my god he loves his mum so much and I'm like can't you see I'm like really heavy, heavily pregnant like there's no way I could have a newborn I don't know it was really awkward did you like high school any tips to get through it wow I really didn't like high school first few years I did but then when I got to like year nine year ten I started really Sort of like mucking up and not being able to concentrate and stuff. I actually got diagnosed I think a year or two ago with ADHD which I had no idea that I had and it sort of annoys me a bit because I feel like if I had have known that I had it earlier on when I was in school I would have been able to like you know be aware of it and try methods to concentrate more. I couldn't concentrate in class and I always it's like the naughty kid um but yeah I, I i i enjoyed it sometimes like i enjoyed it seeing my friends and stuff but i think i just i didn't enjoy the work sort of part of things because i couldn't concentrate so it would like annoy me and then i get in trouble off the teachers and yeah but i dropped out in year 10 i can't really give you any tips <laughs> besides i don't know just hang in there and if you're not happy you can always find other ways to um, make it to your dream career like go through TAFE or you can still go into university I like I've been to university without having my year 12 certificate so it is possible my sister who's 28 I think she's 28 sister who's 28 she dropped out in year 10 and she's now got all these certificates from university and she's studying the brain and psychology she's doing amazing so like I said you don't need to go all the way to year 12 but I think you should just you know try your hardest because sometimes I do regret not going to year 12 but I also don't because I made a lot of memories in those years and a lot of life lessons I learned so yeah you sort of grow up when you grow up quicker when you leave school earlier, I feel like. Is there anything that your parents didn't do with you that you would like to do with your child? Wish my parents would have done with me that I'd now like to do with my son. Um, my parents took uh, myself and my siblings on a lot of, on a lot of um, holidays around Australia. But one thing I do wish they did was take us overseas because I've never been overseas to this day. But I am grateful for all of the trips we did around Australia. I would like to take my son overseas. That would be a good, that would be something different that I haven't experienced yet that 
I'd love for my son to experience. <sighs> what do you think personally is your biggest flaw? Physically, my biggest flaw... I keep fucking this up. <coughs> Physically, I believe that my biggest flaw is my nose and I am getting a nose job done. Um, and I'm going to vlog it for you guys. I film it all before and after. Always hated my nose because it's crooked it's just it's my biggest flaw i that's what i believe and i can't stand looking at myself sometimes because i just hate it um but yeah i believe that that's my biggest flaw and i can't wait to get it fixed <laughs> okay last two questions are your lips natural and where did you get your lips done had filler in them in the past but i haven't had filler in them for about a year now so most of the filler is all out the last place i went to was laser laser lounge in castle hill in sydney and oh my god she's amazing she did she's so good i can't wait to go back to her because she's just amazing so yeah if you're if you're sydney based i recommend go to laser lounge in castle hill i can't remember the name of the nurse but she is just amazing like i loved her so much and my lips were so perfect afterwards so that is the end of my q a slash get to know me i didn't really film that much just because it's my first and i sort of just wanted to make it short and sweet if you guys have any more questions you're welcome to dm me on my social media accounts i'm happy to answer most of everyone's questions and if you guys could let me know what you'd like to see me film next, please comment below and let me know because I'm really excited to start filming. I actually had a ring light. I know, weird. I had a ring light when I was like 17, 18, but I threw it out because I just never used it. So I'm ordering a ring light so the quality is going to be, be a bit better. And I am organising to buy a new camera. So there'll be better quality videos soon. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching and please like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.